Deion Sanders, the head coach of Jackson State, pro football yeah. Hall of Famer. He hit 348 in the playoffs in baseball for his career, by the way, on the Goodyear hotline in and the look, postseason. Pam, we got your face on TV, baby. That's what we said we were going to do. We came through. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. That's, that's all I wanted, man. I, I just want to be quality. Well, that's all I want to be quality. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all are my favorite. Hey, you, I get up and work out in the morning, so y'all y'all keep me going, man. Yeah, and Keno, I've been loving him for years. Jay, you that dude. And uh, Max, come on, man. You know you second to none, man. You 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 the host with the most. So prime, man. I, and I'm not even gonna use the word flip because it it wasn't even a flip. It was simply, right. as I said before, they allowed you to come into the household something that they would not do in the past to be able to communicate with them so they can understand what is at stake for their son, not only academically and educationally, but also from an athletic standpoint that he would be put in the best position to succeed on the field as well off, as off the field with you. How were you able to get that done, though? Well, honestly, Key, I'm straight up, man. I just I, I shoot straight. I don't I don't lie. I don't placate. I don't promise your kids bells and whistles. I'm not gonna say you are gonna blow up on the NIL. No, man, you gotta come in and put in work, do your job, and the rest is history. But you gotta work. So I just I'm a straight shooter. My coaching staff did a phenomenal job on even getting it to that point, so that I can't come in and be me. But we just shot it straight, man. We just really ain't promised nothing that we really can't 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 make happen. And the first time I met the kid, I said, you know, you if you come in, you're playing both ways, right? I ain't say if. I said, you know, when you come mm. in, you're playing both ways, so you got to get your butt in shape. <laughs> and this but kid studied thing, me, man. I Deion mean, he's Sanders, smart. When he's Deion smart. He Sanders studied me. He knows my you. life. He, say that again. I'm sorry. Uh, Dion, I'm just saying, when Dion Sanders says that to you, anyone could relate to this. It means something different than yeah. if anyone else in the world says that to you. It, it does. Matt, we, we're, and the reason that every, is is because it's prime. Every, every roster is 70 to 75% African-American, man. Who you think of getting these kids anyway? So the only, only difference in this scenario is I'm actually the head coach. I'm going to get them along with the staff, but I'm the head coach. That's the only difference. And uh, I'm not going to say we flipped him. He just wanted to do what he did. He came to our homecoming game. That's the last place you go. You want to let a recruit go to if you won't want to lose him. Come to an HBCU homecoming? Oh, my God. When he saw how we got down at Jackson State and uh, how genuine, you know, they were in there for the pregame speech. They was in there for postgame. So they knew how we got down. Then uh, I think Shador, my son, uh, the quarterback, really uh, took him around and, and showed him around town and everything. And the rest is history, man. But really, the mother, the stepfather, the family, we was 100 with him. We just shot it straight. Prom, I got to ask you this. You know, as a African-American head coach, somebody with your pedigree at a HBCU, when this goes down, there's a lot of flack from the old guard about – NIL and just pay many amounts of money and all this kind well, of we stuff. Pay. We ain't got no go money. To a school like, we ain't got no like, money. Can you, can, you just address, can you just address all the stupidity out there for me, please? <laughs> a, a million and a half? I heard a million and a half, and I heard Dave Ford, Norman Barstool. That's the biggest lie I've ever heard. You know what that is? That means we kicked your butt, we took what was ours, and now you got to make up an excuse why. Ain't nobody got no a million and a half. I wouldn't pay my son a million and a half. In a half. How am I going to coach a guy that's making more than me? <laughs> yeah, wait, hey, hey. You were wrong. You, you know uh, how it is, uh, man. You, much like you just said, Prime, you beat them at their own game. So now the only way to do is try to smear. It's like a smear campaign in politics. Exactly. You win, exactly. they lose, so now they want to attack your credibility in your character and who you are as a football coach of a major university. I want you to tell right. me a little bit about Travis's ability on the football field and how he compared hey, to some of Key. those that you've been around in high school and everything else. Key, this kid, you know, Jay, just like if you saw somebody, you know, dribbling and shooting and doing their thing, Key, he got that it and he got that one too. Yeah. You know that, uh-uh, he got that when it's in his hands, he's electric when he's on the, in the secondary He's aggressive, good skill set, 
technique is adequate, you know, we got to tune there to find it up, fine tune it. But I can't wait to see him on grass so I can see really what he is. You know, he's both ways now and doing a superb job, and I plan on using him that way. But I can't wait to see really what he is. But when I tell you he got that it, he got that mm -hmm. it. He got that, no, that, 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 that when, when he touched that rock, when he touched that ball, you get up. He, he got that, that kind of thing. So when you, when you, so DT, Dennis Thurman is your defensive coordinator and having you and DT teach him, did that factor into his decision to join Jackson State? Yes. And Kevin Mathis, who played 10 years in the league, That's which right. is the Kevin Mathis coach. is there too. Yeah. Yeah. Not only did that factor in, but he's, this kid studied me. Like this kid loves fishing. Like, come on, man! You you from the hood? You love to fish? I got you, baby. That's my <laughs> thing. I got. It was just so many synergies that that was unbelievable. And Mama don't play, and I just think a lot of people approached it wrong to Mama. You know, they yeah. they they went wrong. They they went sideways. And you know, once you mess up with Mama, it's a wrap. Pom, I got to ask you, you know, a lot of people, you know, were trying to make these arguments. Well, you know, where, where is he going to get exposure? And I keep saying, you got some of the, you got most of the exposure in the world right now. I mean, I, I, I'm watching everything that you do all the time. What are the benefits to young men being a part of the exposure that you have for their own visibility and their own brands? Well, every day, it's a camera on me right now, whether you know it or not. Every every day we shoot in a documentary. We, we shoot a documentary with bar stools. And that airs, uh, um, the, I think, going into next season. Uh, we've already did year one, but the exposure is crazy. Uh, we played on television, I think, every game but one. Um, shoot, I, I, if you got to be, you got to be crazy if you don't know nothing about Jackson State right now, or you hadn't seen us get down. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.